Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works. We're looking at how to not take the wrong thoughts, but to take the right thoughts. How do I take the thought of the Word? By saying. Jesus said, take no anxious thoughts saying, but then we find that that is a principle of how to take the right thoughts or the word of God by saying when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness and Satan came to him and uh, tempted him Jesus responded immediately with it is written and you remember when Jesus came to the fig tree and the fig tree was not producing and it says Jesus answered it and said no man eat fruit of you hereafter forever and the fig tree dried up from the roots so you can't battle thoughts with thoughts you have to take the thoughts by saying in Romans I believe it's chapter 10 it says but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. So what do we do? We take the thought of the word of God by saying it. We don't just read it. We take it by speaking it. Yesterday I gave you some examples of uh, how the wrong thoughts about as you get older or about your body uh, let me give you another one. People expect that and and say, because you get what you say, that as they get older that their knees are going to wear out, their hips are going to wear out. But the Word says, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. And one of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 is that you are redeemed from being smitten in the knees and the legs with the sore botch from the sole of your foot to the top of your head. So no, my knees are not going to wear out. I am the body of Christ and he has good knees and good hips and I am bone of his bones and flesh of his flesh. So my bones will never wear out. My bones will never break because he keeps all of my bones. Not one of them is broken. I believe that's Psalms chapter 92 maybe. But so you that's how you take the thought of the word by saying it when, when someone speaks something like that and say, well, you know, you know how it is. No, you can very gently but firmly speak the truth in love and say, no, that's not going to happen to me because I am the body of Christ and his body is totally healed and my body is totally healed. So you speak what the word says about you. What about people that have dementia or, or Alzheimer's? Well, according to Deuteronomy 28, madness or craziness or any mental disorder is a curse of the law. So we are redeemed from the curse of the law. Frank and I will never have dementia and my family because I speak over my whole family. We are the redeemed of the Lord. And it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm going to say that again. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so that I am redeemed from the curse. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Satan cannot come and put anything on this family because we are the redeemed of the Lord. So I am redeemed from madness, blindness, and astonishment of heart. That's Deuteronomy 28. The word mad madness means craziness or not being able to think clear. Uh, astonishment of heart, dismay of mind and heart. You're redeemed from fear. So you say, you say that when somebody says, and, you, and then fear comes, oh no, I hope I don't get that. No, you say, no, Jesus redeemed me from that. So my husband, my family, my wife will never have dementia or Alzheimer's. We have perfect and sound minds. We have the mind of Christ. 
That is a promise, saints. In the Word, it says that uh, we have the mind of Christ, and His mind is perfect, and He has a perfect and just memory. So I have a perfect and just memory because I have the mind of Christ. So don't take the wrong thoughts, the thoughts of the world, the thoughts when somebody comes to you and says something like, well, you know, we're all, and you say, no, not me. You know, Jesus rebuked Peter one time when Peter made a statement against something that he said, and he said, he looked at him and he said, get thee behind me, Satan because thou savorest not the things of God. So you have to speak to those thoughts. You can do it in love, but you have to do it. And just say, like people will tell us, take care, and we'll just very gently say, no, we won't take care, but we will have peace and safety and blessing. So take no wrong thought by saying, but do take the thought of the word of God by saying, one other thing, do you know it is God's will for you to never be sick, for you to be healed and whole all the days of your long life on this earth? So you set, start saying that, I am healed forever. He bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases, and with his stripes I was healed, I am healed, and I'm always healed because that is the truth and my family as well. Remember all day long, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.